Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm super excited about this one. Today I wanted to show you guys how I handmade this rug. Holy cow, this took so long, but I am so proud of making this guy. But today I wanna to show you guys the entire creative process of how I made this rug. So let's get right into it. So I think it's fair to say that this is my first time ever making a rug, but I am super proud of how this turned out. And as you can see, I drew down my design first and I actually labeled each section and that was such a game changer i'm so glad i did that it made such a big difference and it made it a lot easier to not only get it right but to kind of break it down into different sections because this is a very long undertaking and being able to split it up into smaller bite-sized pieces definitely made a big difference here and after the first couple hours i was super stoked on the progress and you can even see my little iPad to the side where I either have the design up or I'm listening to so many podcasts, so many movies. Anyway, you can see at the bottom, I actually kind of omitted this large section and I actually cut it down to be even smaller. Completely selfishly, I did that because, you know, two inches of space actually ends up to be a couple hours of work. So I'm glad I shortened the size. So the dimensions are a little funky, but I made a 30 inch by 19 inch rug. So if you don't know what my design is, I'm from Utah, and if you've ever heard anything about Utah, we have a bunch of national parks. It's a beautiful place if you're into the outdoorsy scene. But here in Utah, we have Delicate Arch. It's kind of like Utah's icon. And as someone who's somewhat outdoorsy myself, I thought this would be the perfect thing to make a rug of. I think my theme will be national parks. So in the future, I'll probably feature some other ones. But yeah, you'll have to forgive me on the lighting on some of these. As I mentioned, this took a long time. So this goes from morning to night. Um, and this was over the course of maybe five or six days. And yeah, this project took me 26 hours. Yes, 26 hours, a whole entire day of nonstop punch needling. My hands are killing me. My neck is killing me. My back is killing me. Ugh, it just, yeah, this was so much dedication. I don't know if I'm gonna do another rug for a long time. This was my first. I feel like this is pretty large for a rug, especially since I'm not using a rug gun, which is what a lot of people do. You know, I don't have $300 to spend on equipment for something that I'm doing for the first time, right? <laughs> I'm sure if I were to do it again, I'd probably be faster, maybe? I don't know, it's it's honestly just a tedious process in nature, but oh well. I made a lot of mistakes, so, you know, from what I've learned, so Monk's Cloth, which is the fabric that you're supposed to use with rug making, is pretty stretchy, but it's, it's not, it's not expensive, but it's also not necessarily cheap. And so I kind of wish that I made my frame a little smaller because I'm wasting so much fabric all around the edges. And I, you know, I, I should have planned that out a little bit better. I use some carpet tack strips. Um, it's what you lay down on concrete to, to hold carpet down while you're like putting everything in place. Um, I actually didn't realize this, but there is a direction on there. You're, you're supposed to put it down in a certain way so that the tacks are facing away from the center because all of the nails are angled in a certain direction. So on two of the sides, they're actually facing the wrong way and it wouldn't hold the fabric like at all. So I actually had to go in with a hammer because I, I couldn't get the tack strip off and hammer every single one to be the other direction. Anyway, it was, it was a huge headache. I'm sure my neighbors didn't like it, but... <laughs> I also realized I had nowhere near enough yarn for this project. I went through two rolls on one of the colors and I was so shocked at how much yarn this actually takes. Another thing that, you know, I guess wasn't necessarily a mistake because it wasn't in my control, but, but when I went to the craft store, they actually didn't have the right colors that I wanted. So I kind of mixed and matched different brands of yarn, which was not great because they're different thicknesses. And what ends up happening is inserting the punch needle into the fabric, the different thicknesses gave it like different heights. And on the actual rug, it looks pretty uneven. I actually don't mind it. I think it kind of adds some flair to it. But I mean, for the sake of consistency, I think it would have been nice to have the same exact brand for each color of the yarn. So we're nearing the end and I was like, yes, I put in so much work, blah, blah, blah. And that was probably at like, what, 25 hours, 24 hours. But I decided to go the extra mile and actually sew off the edges to kind of keep it all together. A lot of people will just fold the monk's cloth underneath and glue it down, but I kind of like how it looks. So I went ahead, put in some extra time and I'm so glad that I went the extra mile because it looks awesome. 
But yeah, after 26 hours of work, here's the finished rug. Again, I'm so happy with this project. It came out way better than I thought it would. And I just love this thing. It is beautiful. And yeah, after putting in so much time into something, it's really cool to see it all come together in the end. That's it for this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more content like this. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.